Supreme Court has reserved its orders on the Doordarshan World Cup feed issue. Prasar Bharti told the top court that launching a separate channel to broadcast cricket matches of India is not feasible. Star Sports insisted on carrying a scroll by DD that match telecast on DD National is meant for only terrestrial transmission and private operators and DTH can't show this content. Attorney General has opposed the proposal and said it will be contrary to provisions of Cable TV Act. Meanwhile, the stay on Delhi HC order continues. CBI has filed its final probe report in a coal block allocation case allegedly involving former coal secretary PC Parekh, industrialist Kumar Mangalam Berla, Hindalco and others before the special court, which will consider it on 11th of next month. Senior Public Prosecutor V.K. Sharma told the court that the agency has completed the investigation and one more witness has been examined during the course of probe and they are filing a statement in a sealed cover. The case pertains to allocation of Talabira 2 coal block in Orissa to Hindalco in 2005. Delhi High Court has reserved its orders on Greenpeace activist Priya Pillay's plea against her offloading and lookout circular issued against her. The court termed inappropriate the government's decision to offload Pillay and said that difference of opinion does not mean being anti-national. Pillay was offloaded from the flight at IGI Airport in New Delhi on 11th of January when she was travelling to Britain to present the fact related to alleged human rights violation in developmental projects carried out by Madhya Pradesh. India successfully conducted user trial of indigenously developed nuclear-capable Prithvi-2 surface-to-surface missile from a test range at Chandipur off Odisha coast. The state-of-the-art missile, which is capable of carrying 500 to 1,000 kg of warheads, was test-fired from a mobile launcher in salvo mode from launch pad number 3 of integrated test range. The launch of the sophisticated missile was conducted as part of operational exercise by the Strategic Force Command of the Defence Services. Israeli Defense Minister Moshe Yalon called on Prime Minister Narendra Modi in New Delhi on Thursday, who expressed satisfaction with the ongoing cooperation between the two countries in various sectors. During the meeting, Prime Minister recalled his meeting with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly in September 2014. Yalon, the first Israeli Defence Minister to visit India since the two countries established full diplomatic relations in 1992, attended the Aero India show. Prime Minister Narendra Modi paid tributes to Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj on Shivaji Jayanti. Prime Minister tweeted a saying, I bow to the epitome of courage and bravery and the pride of India, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj on Shivaji Jayanti. He said Shivaji Maharaj shone on the battlefield and left a mark in administration. He touched several lives through his good governance. Chhatrapati Shivaji inspires us greatly. Union Home Minister Rajna Singh chaired an inter-ministerial meeting on the Citizenship Amendment Bill in New Delhi. Minister for External Affairs, Sushma Swaraj, Minister for Urban Development, Venka Naidu, and several other ministers attended the meeting. An all-party meeting has been convened on Sunday ahead of the budget session of Parliament, scheduled to begin on Monday. Government will seek support of opposition parties to ensure smooth functioning of Parliament. MOS Parliamentary Affairs Mukhtar Abbas Nakwi said all parties must ensure proper working in the parliament. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has greeted the people of China, Korea, Vietnam and Mongolia on the occasion of their respective New Year's. Union Minister Rajiv Pratap Rudi took a sortie in SU-30 MKI, the frontline fighter jet of the IAF as part of the 10th Aero India. Rudi himself, a commercial pilot, flew in SU-30 for about 40 minutes. Rudi is the first Union Minister to fly a Sukhoi. Two pilots of Red Bull's aerobatic team had a miraculous escape after the wings of the aircraft touched each other mid-air while doing stunts. The aircraft landed safely but with the wings damaged. Flying bulls from the Czech Republic were in the middle of their stunt when this accident took place. Sen6 rose 142 points, extending its winning run to the seventh day. Similarly, the NAC 50 share Nifty index firmed up by 26.20 points to close at 8,895.